Okay, I'll just show you um, the auto access height. If you get out of the car or you're getting out of the car, there's a button here on this Range Rover Vogue. You press that, the suspension will, will go down. That's doing it manually. However, there is a setting on it, on some of the vehicles, that you can set it to do automatically. So I'll just show you. Right, so you go to menu, click menu. You see their driving features. And as you click down, vehicle setup, click across to vehicle setup and then you'll see passenger airbag, alarm sensors, reverse dip mirror, auto access height, put a tick in there and then uh, then that's it. When you go back to, when you get out of the car or you stop the car like so, go to get out. The vehicle lowers to, to access height, makes it easier to get out. Okay, I'll just show you uh, how to work the mood lighting. Uh, so here we go. You see the arrows at each, either side of the display there. So if I click that arrow and I'm going across, go back, ambient lighting, ambient lighting there. I want to change the color. So I change the color there and how bright it is like so, or I want to knock it off completely. That's all we do. So on, change it to blue, bright, that's it, that's how you work the ambient lighting. Okay, I'll just show you how to work the time climate on this uh, 2015 Range Rover uh, autobiography. So we'll just go back to home. That's the home switch, the, the house button there. And you'll see these arrows on either side here. So what we do, we click the arrows and click again. You've got time climate, click on time climate. There you go, you can either single event or seven day timer. We want seven day timer, timers. Now, what you can do, you can do all week. If, you, if you're gonna get out at the same, or get go to your car at the same time, that's set at seven o'clock. If we wanna move that, first of all, we click on, and then I just move that to, well, we'll, we'll, we'll have a line. We'll say 7.30, click okay. And that's it, 7.30, right the way across. And then again, if I want to do five o'clock, click on, okay now saturday and sunday of course i, I want to lay in so we'll go to saturday 7 30. now i'm going to i'm going to put that to it might have defrosted on its own by then but i'm going to put it to 9 30 um and i won't be going out in the afternoon at all so i'll just switch that off same again on sunday 7 30 far too early for a sunday so 9 30 uh, and and again, I, I won't be going out, so we'll, we'll click that off. Click OK. We'll just go back there. That's set all week, 7.30. And when you get in, in the car, there's a little heater under the bonnet which uses the diesel. And 7.30, it'll start defrosting the car, um, de warming it up, defrost the, the, the windows. Also, most of them get lost, but there is a little key there is a little key like so. So from your window, hopefully, depending on where your car is, you can just point out the window, click on. And there you go, That's that switches the heater underneath the bonnet in the right hand side here, it just uses a little bit of diesel, burns it, heats it up, and uh, you come out to your car and it's all clear when everybody else is scraping away. So that's a great feature. A lot of people don't even know they've, they've, they've got it, but that's that's how you do it there is an accessory on, on a, a some range rovers and they're deployable side steps personally i don't like them because i either reach in to get something out and they catch me on the shin or I, when i'm getting out i get out too quickly like a bull in a china shop like i do everything and then the deployable side step comes out and puts a dirty mark on the back of my, my pants so if i open the door here there you go, you'll see the side step come out. And when you shut the door, the side step goes away. Now, what you can do, if you want to switch them off, so there's a button down here. If I put my foot on the brake, hold that, click start, orange light flash then. If I open the door, there you go, side step hasn't come out. 
in order to switch it back on again, we do the same thing. Finger on the button there, start the car. You'll see the light there. And then when we open the door, that's it. Sidestep comes out. So that's how you do it.